Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. This time I'll show you how to set up a flashlight system inside the motion matching system of Unreal Engine 5.6. We'll add the animations, a flashlight mesh, a light component and all the blueprint logic. So the whole thing works with just a simple mouse click. So first of all we need some animations. There's a free sample animation pack on FAB that already includes all the necessary flashlight animations. Link is in the description. After adding the pack to your project, you'll find the three flashlight animations inside the survival set folder. Now we just need to retarget these animations to our sandbox character. Right click on the animation and choose Retarget Animation. Search for Flashlight and select all three animations. As the target mesh, search for the UEFN mannequin and export the animations. Let's begin implementing our mouse click event to toggle between the original idle and the flashlight idle animation. Open the sandbox character blueprint and go to the event graph. Right click and search for left mouse button. Drag out the pressed pin and add a branch node. Here we want to check if the flashlight is already on or not. For this we need a new variable. Click the plus button, name it something like flashlight on off and set its type to integer. Compile and set the default value to zero. Now drag the variable into the graph and choose get. Drag its pin out and search for equal. This converts our integer variable to the boolean value needed for the branch. So connect it to the condition pin. Drag the variable into the graph again and choose set. Leave the value at zero and connect it to the false pin of the branch. Do it again and set the value to one connecting it to the true pin. Now, with every mouse click, our variable toggles between 0 and 1. Compile and save. Open the animation blueprint of the sandbox character and switch to the event graph. To use our flashlight on off variable inside the anim blueprint, we need to get its value from the character blueprint and store it in another integer variable that we can use in the anim graph. Click the plus button, name it idle state and set its type to integer. Right click and search for try get pawn owner. Drag the blue pin out and search for cast to cbp sandbox character. Drag the blue pin out again and search for flashlight on off. Then choose get. Next, drag the idle state variable into the graph and choose set. Connect the green pin to the green pin and the exec pin of the cast node to the input of the set variable node. Now we have the integer value of the flashlight on off variable stored in the idle state variable. Finally, we need an event to trigger this every time. Insert this chain directly after the event blueprint update animation node. Compile and save. Now switch to the anim graph. Here we want to add our idle animation if the flashlight on off variable is 1. First, Break the link between the default slot and the offset root bone and drag the rest of the chain to the right to create some space. This node gives us the actual pose of the motion matching animation. 
let's store it inside a post cache so that we can use it multiple times. Drag the pin out and search for cache. Choose new saved cache pose and name it something like original pose. Drag and drop the retargeted idle animation sequence into the graph. Also drag the idle state variable into the graph and choose get. Right click and search for use cached pose original pose. Next, drag the pin of the animation sequence out and search for blend pose by integer. Connect it to the blend pose 1 pin, connect the original pose to the blend pose 0 pin and connect the idle state variable to the active child index pin. Set both blend time values to 0.5 for smooth blending. So, if idle state is 0, play the original motion matching animation. If idle state is 1, play our flashlight idle animation. The last step is to tell the graph to use only the upper body or the right arm and leave the rest of the body to motion matching. For this we need a layered blend per bone node. Connect the output pin of the blend pose by integer node to the blend pose input. Duplicate the use cached pose node and connect it to the base pose pin. Select the layer blend per bone node and in the details panel add a new branch filter element. Set the bone name to the exact name of the skeletal bone where you want the blending to start. Note that the spelling must match the bone name exactly. In this case let's use clavicle underscore R to apply the blend to just the arm with a flashlight. Connect the output pin to the offset root bone, then compile and save. If you now hit play, you can toggle between the idle states with a simple mouse click. And this smooth transition isn't even the pull or height animation, it's just the smooth blending between the idle states. Ok, that's it for today. In part 2 of this tutorial, we'll add the pull and height animations, attach the flashlight mesh and light component to the character's hand and set up the logic to control when they appear. See you in part 2. Cheers!